there's a lot of discussion these days about the rise of autism and why we are seeing more people get diagnosed with autism than we did in previous years. And so I wanted to give you the definitive answer on why that is actually happening from my experience as an autistic clinical psychologist who actually knows what he's talking about with this kind of stuff. The main thing you need to understand is that there is no big rise in the actual number of people who are becoming autistic. For the most part, the increase in why we are seeing more people be diagnosed with autism is because we are simply better at diagnosing people with autism. So it's the same people, um, they just 30 years ago might not have been diagnosed and then now they are going to be diagnosed. So you might ask, well, why is that happening? Well, there's two major factors that go into that. The first one is that the diagnostic criteria have changed, so it is now easier to qualify for an autism diagnosis. As the diagnostic manual that professionals used moved from the DSM-3 to the 4 to the 5, the criteria for autism were adjusted such that more people now fit under the autism umbrella. And so somebody who 30 years ago could have gone in and gotten tested and get a different diagnosis, now they're going to get an autism diagnosis. Same person, nothing changed with them, but the rules have changed about who gets a diagnosis for autism and who maybe gets a diagnosis for something else. Also, there's a lot greater understanding and a lot less stigma around autism. And so now, whereas somebody might have fallen through the cracks, we are much more likely to realize, hey, this person might have autism, let's get them tested. This is especially true for women who are autistic because autistic women oh, were very often missed in the past. And now we still have a lot of work to do. A lot of autistic women are still missed, but we are better at realizing that women can be autistic too and giving them the correct diagnosis. Now, I did say that this explains most of the difference, but not all of it. There might be some small factors that are actually increasing the genuine number of autistic people coming into the world. For instance, we know that environmental factors such as the age of the parents and whether a child is premature do influence whether or not somebody becomes autistic. And in our society these days, more people are having babies later in life and we have better technology for premature babies. So a baby who's born prematurely is more likely to survive and then wind up with an autism diagnosis. However, these explain a small amount of the variance because the vast majority of why somebody becomes autistic or not is their genetics. And so even though these environmental changes might cause a little bit of the difference in the rise of autism, for the most part, the, there's no true rise of autism. It is just autistic people who have always been there who are finally now getting the attention and the counting that we deserve. So I hope that instead of freaking out about the rise of autism, we can shift our focus into how can we support the autistic people who have been a part of our society all along. If you thought this video was helpful, please share it with